Snicko B here with a let's play of Spirit Hunter Deathmark. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm laughing because uh, I don't think this appeared on anybody's uh, Nico B uh, potential Let's Play bingo card. <laughs> this is literally a game that not a single person in the comments of the last video re like, was like, Nico, you should check out this game. Or you should uh, play this game or this one or this one. Not a single one said this game, all right? So you might be then like, well, why, Nico? Why this one? Well, because I think it looks cool. <laughs> well, let's see. I, I've, I've heard about this game a while back. Not long after I completed Paranormal Site, I, I had people uh, sort of bring up this game to me and tell me like, oh yeah, this game's got a similar kind of a style and aesthetic and is honestly a bit even scarier than Paranormal Site. Because I'd say by the end of Paranormal Site, it wasn't really a, like a horror game, honestly. It was just more of like a suspenseful mystery kind of game. This one's a lot more horror-y. And from everything I've seen in like the, the promo stuff and the screenshots and like the video, like video trailers and stuff. Yeah, this definitely looks a bit more uh, intense by comparison. And I think part's just the fact that we're getting over into October, you know, the Halloween season. I do have maybe another itch to, to check out. A kind of the spooky uh, visual novel-esque type game. I've heard a lot of really good things about this game. I mean, just look, look at the background. I'm like, on the towel screen, I'm already afraid that someone's about to jump scare me here. I see these little dudes keep popping up. Yeah, I see you. I see you back there. You think you're being coy? All the rustling and shit. But I really, really, really loved Paranormal Sight. That was is easily one I'm gonna be, I think, in one of my top five games of this year. It was just, it was amazing. And one of the things I really loved about it too was being able to uh, voice all the characters. I feel like I haven't done that in a while, you know? And it felt good. And Rain Code has a little bit of that, but Rain Code is mostly voice acted. I, I very rarely get a chance to truly like, you know, go crazy with uh, the voices like I did back in the old Dongaropa days. And to be fair, I love that the game is fully voice acted. It's not even a, a me meant to be a knock against it, but I really did like being able to just kind of go all out, you know, with characters. And from what I've heard, this game is similarly kind of like Paranormal Sight. I think it does have a little bit of maybe voice acting or some like sound bites, but it's generally not voiced, which means I can have, uh, I can have some fun again given some uh, of my own personal twists to uh, certain characters. But yeah, aside from this game being uh, a uh, horror-based, supernatural kind of game, sort of in some instances like Paranormal Sight, I really don't know much about it, other than some of the visuals, which did look pretty amazing. This game actually came out a good while ago, too. This was actually released originally in 2019. And I think there's also another game that was like a spiritual successor or something that uh, released like later that year. And apparently there's also a sequel to this game coming out, I think, early at the start of next year, like it was called like Spirit Hunter 2. So, hey, the good news is this ends up being something that we really enjoy. Uh, might be something we come, come back to uh, in another future iteration. I think that this game is supposed to be about the same length as like what Paranormal Sight was, too. So not like insanely long, not like a Steins Gate sized visual novel. But I think this game also has elements that are not just visual novel like, right? I think it's got some additional kind of wacky stuff that like Paranormal Sight, like an Ace Attorney, like Dong and Europa, you know, like something else to essentially uh, spice up the gameplay. Whereas, you know, Steins Gate was mostly just visual novel with a few choices. I think there is some actual like survival horror aspects to this game. So, uh, yeah, I think this game looks interesting. A perfect game for the spooky time of year. I mean, granted, we're like, like a month early, but it's fine. It's fine. So, guys, I hope you will uh, get yourself all cozy in your blankies, turn off your lights, and uh, join me on uh, potentially another and maybe even spookier game for uh, this year of 2023. I'm just excited to voice some more folks. So let's uh, get started. I don't know when this year this is supposed to take place, actually. Hey, want to hit the karaoke place? The new look and hero song is out. Hmm. I'm not feeling up to it today. Story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. Or she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is? Nope, she just disappeared. 
Just up and poof from the library. One of the student librarians said she was re researching something there. But then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was a weird that she'd up and leave like that. So he checked in on her. But when he did... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? Just, a, just casual severed arm there. The only thing left was her arm. Damn, still got the pin in her hand too. Damn, that's Miss Yamaguchi for you. Look at her, she's so diligent. Working so hard. She went to go grab a snack and left her hand to, to finish the work for her. A really weird scar in it. So it's definitely her arm. A scar? Wait, really? The scar is the part that gets you, not the severed arm part? What the fuck? There's a fucking severed arm with the gun! Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. For real? There's a scar like that in Mickey's leg too. Uh-oh. Huh? Mickey? Wait, that's... The girl went missing, yeah. That's crazy! Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar. Cut it out, you're scaring me. Oh! There goes a guy with a scar, similar looking scar, I think, on his arm there, right? I hear snatches of idiotic ghost of an idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but obviously they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gotten later than I planned. I shouldn't have stuck around here, to, around to hear that story. I better hurry. The fuck is that? Ah, uh! Thunder rumbles in the distance. A huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Oh, my head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? Horror time! I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? But all I find is a business card. In elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kujo Spirit Healer. Kujo, Kujo, Kujo. Probably Jo. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be Kujo Mansion then. Kujo Mansion. Saya Kujo. Those names sound familiar somehow. Really? Oh, did I lose my memory too? One way to find out. Taking a deep breath, I reached out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. Yeah. A strange scar. When did that? I could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. Knock, knock. My fist pounds on the door, no reply. A light appears in a second floor window. It's probably too far from the from the door for them to hear me knocking. So I'm just gonna come in. I grasp the doorknob and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in. I'll apologize to the owner later. I haven't gotten a good look at my guy's face yet to give him a... a voice yet. The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead sound, except for the constant ticking of a clock second hand. It must be the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Can I pause? There's that. That does that. Uh, RB will go auto. Not that I can tell yet. I'll just give him sort of a, I'll give him a deeper kind of gravelly voice maybe. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down here. I guess I need to go upstairs then. The staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk toward it. Cutting across the hall. My ears catch a strange noise. I turn to look where it's coming from. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello. Someone's there, enveloped by the dark. Ugh. I think they're staring at me. Ignore them. Talk to them. Approach them. Hello? Hello. I call out, but the person remains silent. I don't know if I want to ignore them. Approach them. Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over, trepidation slowing my steps. It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least it seems that way to me. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. The corpse. Great, I creep myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Ah! Touch her, I'm crazy! The shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. I press down on her arm and she shakes. She makes the strange sound I heard earlier. Ah, now it makes sense. She's a doll. Oh! Big ol' uh, Bloodborne doll, okay. A doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what made the noise. What a relief. If disappointing. Is it though? I carefully begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems to be coming from above me. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet this was making the sound. Uh... Approach? The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach toward the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. The silence descends, broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but the timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue on to the room with a light. Stopping in front of the door, I knock. But again, there's no reply. I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. Dead? Uh-oh. That definitely looks like something died. It's dark inside. Strange, I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Well, I think through the room is an odd smell. It's sugary, like a ripe fruit. Sugary? The home is permeated with it. Some kind of aroma therapy, maybe. It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The aroma draws me further into the room. The floor under my feet feels off. It's wet. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know this scent. This metallic tang. Ugh! What was that? Light flashed and I catch a glimpse of something. The startlingly grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. Well, all these choices, uh, stare. Ugh. It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. Ew, what the fuck is that? It's got like fucking shrooms growing out of her. That's some, uh, what do they call that? Agoraphobia or something? Or yeah, like the little holes and shit like uh, freak some people out. Blooming flowers are everywhere. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach, her blood soaked body overwhelmed with them. I wrench my gaze away horrified, but the hellish image is blurred into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises up, I'm going to throw up. Uh oh, I'm about to die. Eh? 
Where's she go? The next instant, the lights are on. Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. That's not good. This doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least I'd really much prefer if it was. But the faint smell that remains, and the blood sting crush any hope I had of that. I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. When I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on in here as well. Is the doll still there? I decide to have another look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old-fashioned mansion. Oh god, it is! His eyes are open now! A large doll sits on a couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see the ball joints. Probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. So what do I do now? Contact the police. Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse ups and vanished like a like fog. Like anyone would believe that. Uh-oh. Welcome to Kujo Mansion. Ah! The doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one I, when I found the corpse. Up until this point, I was nothing more than an observer to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now, a doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. She folds her hands together so she can move too. I am sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here today already. I see my master, Sayakujo, was unable to escape from the mark then. Sayakujo? Does she mean that corpse? But wait, what's this about a mark? Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Were you not also called here by her because of the mark on your arm? Ah, is that what's happening? She must be talking about this weird scar. Did Sayakujo invite me to this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. I have something to tell you in place of my late master, but I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I've been expecting. It's... Uh... Yeah, I don't. Oh, fuck. I'm all fucked up. I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find I'm coming up blank. I see. And it is as I thought. So my Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It is also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. Oh, my... She's probably right. Better have some placeholder name that then continue life as a hollow, nameless being. Am I actually going to name myself? Oh, my God! Enter the protagonist's last... Oh, last name, huh? Uh, okay, so by default, it's Yashiki. The last name, that's fine. You know what, let's just, let's go with, uh, if it, it didn't have anything by default, I'd, you know, try to come up with something, but let's go with Yashiki. Sounds good. The first name, Kazuo. Kazuo Yashiki. All right, that sounds good. Hey, oh, oh. Oh, interesting. I can choose his appearance? Although it just seems to be with, with glasses, without glasses, or the beard. Beard and glasses. <laughs> it's kind of a funny, it's like, maybe everything else is the same. It's just, do I want him shaved or 
And have bad eyesight? Yes, I do. These make me cooler. I'm Kazuo Yashiki. Understood, Lord Yashiki. Now I shall explain to you about the mark. It is the seal of death. Those who have it will soon die. Oh, goody. You do not believe me. I am certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be inf irrefutably true. Oh, well, good. Am I going to look like that? The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. I, you know, I might actually try to go do the, even his narration in his voice. I just was just going to do it with my regular voice, but I think I'll go... I'm going to go all on here. Just for you guys, too. I think it'll be kind of fun. I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Seems like most of this is also going to be him narrating, so, you know. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. They face death, all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss. That can't be. That'd mean I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you... About to die today! We'll die this very dawn. Death mark. Cool. But also... Ah! My memory skips forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know... I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that I feel a lot better. I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking. But I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Way out of the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? Somebody clean all the blood off the floor. Might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. And she's still here. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a doll gets bored, waiting like humans do. Good morning, Lord Yashiki. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, sorta. I feel terrible. That is only natural, of course. So it appears that you have calmed down. I would like to ask a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. Oh, goody. So she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Would that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? Accept death. I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on Earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really all right with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. Live or die! Ooh, this music. Deadly choice. You will be faced with choices that can result in death. There is limited time and your soul power will con continue to drain. What the hell, my soul power? 
Time up, time's up or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick, but also careful in finding the right answer. Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing LB. But certain dialogue cannot be sped up. Backlog, okay. Auto mode, right. Hiding the dialogue window, yeah. How do I save? Then I shall ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Fight the mark! Safe! <laughs> this are you off easy. You lived! You didn't pick to die! So you will not die! I know, crazy! I've decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Yashiki, then I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. Okay, alright. I'm on board here. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the supernatural, and losing my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. A knock comes from the front door. Come here this late at night. Fellow dead people? Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that other mark bearers have arrived. Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power, being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, Lord Ashiki. I do apologize, but could you go greet our guests in my stead? They may experience a shock of a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Oh, okay. I moved to the front door to greet our guests. People fated to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. Probably a bunch of weirdos, right? Who I found at the door are not what who would I expect to see out the late this late at night. Hello, binoculars girl! A high schooler. And a small boy. These kids have the mark? No way. Um I came to see Professor Kujo. Who are you? Can't say I'm a total stranger since I'm here in the mansion. I'm... Her disciple, a relative, her boyfriend. Uh, relative. Oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. She seems to know Sayakujo. Now that I think about it, that business card did say spirit healer. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. I'm Moe Watanabe. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in the OOP Arts Monthly. She pulls an occult magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scars it, scar is... A soul-inhibiting disease that erases memories. Inquire at Kuja Mansion. Ah. Um, this is the same scar, right? Moe lifts her shirt up a bit to show me her leg. Moe. It's time for some Moe horse shit. Right there on her right thigh is the mark. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. It's never happened to me before. Do you think the scar's doing it? That article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. And a high schooler fell for it. I must feel embarrassed about that. Damn sassy boy. But Sakasa, what you hanging around out in front of the mansion's gate? Fess up, your scar scares you. Sukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently sulks. Looks like a bullseye. It's clear they're both mark bearers. I better bring them over to meet Mary. Bearers, hi, ah, yes, that's actually very similar to paranormal side, isn't it? Moe shrieks excitedly when she gets close. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah? 
I've never seen one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when. Welcome to Kujo Mansion. <laughs> no, what? It spoke! With that, the two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous world that hovers on the precipice of death. Mary tells Moe and Tsukasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Now, if you came specifically here because you believed the Lady Saya's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Moe admitted as much earlier, but I can see Zukasa's face darken. So it must be happening to him, too. Hey, Moe, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs, so they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might be a curse from Hanahiko. Hanahiko? This name is familiar to me. He is the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. So Saikujo was curious, too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Yashiki. Then I shall tell you the rumors of Hanako. Or Hanahiko. Hanahiko. <laughs> uh oh. Chapter 1 Hanahiko. That weird ass sound. Oh, did you hear? About that ghost boy all the schools in each city are talking about. Sounds like Hanahiko is back. I heard that he can appear at- It sounds like maybe people gossiping again. Beareth, you peek in a school mirror at night. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine. But if you say yes... Give me that red stuff then. Uh-uh. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know. Heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is streamed from them. And next to the corpse is a single rose. <laughs> rose dripping with blood. Ugh. Rumors can easily be manip manipulated, passing from one person to another. Assumptions and errors mix in, but they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moe, do you know anything else? I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiko at H Elementary School. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Why were you at H Elementary School? My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. God, everyone fucking- Everyone in Japan loves the occult, don't they? God! I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school. This has been closed down. What should I ask next? Uh, was Hanahiko there? I don't think so, but I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror. But a shiver suddenly ran down my spine, and I got spooked and left. When did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kujo wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. No one didn't know for sure about the ghost, but there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from each elementary. Then maybe. Tsukasa glances down in his left hand. Mine might be from Hanahiko, too. I noticed after I got home from T Elementary, that ghost was seen in a lot of schools in each city, right? 
Maybe he's remembered something. I better ask him some questions too. To elementary? I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top rank elementary in H City. What was that? Maybe around sunset? I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. Did you see him? No. I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed a mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. Their stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors. Can't just be a coincidence. You must investigate the places where Hanahiko appeared. For their sake, as well as yours. Ah, that's all well and good, but... What exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seems that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? H Elementary or T Elementary? Start with the top, then. Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you try to sneak into a regular school. A middle-aged man who can't recall his name, let alone address or job title. I'd have no excuse if I got caught. Wanna get going, then? Let's do this. Wait, you're coming, too. Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. Girl, you're about to fucking die today, all right? Should that also be, you know, your your uh, objective here to avoid that? She grins at me. Is she really strong? Or is this blind optimism? I'm going to. Hey, not you too. Seriously? My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason I die to be because you messed something up. It's pretty bold. Good thing you're cute. <laughs> you little dickhead. Better bring kids along with me is... Ugh. I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate, seeing lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if we're going to survive. Please take only one mark bearer with you, however. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. What? I also ask that you do not waste time dawdling with others on the way. It is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Have a safe trip. Thanks. Selecting a partner. For selecting mark bearer, do this in the partner menu. Oh yeah, hey mister. Do you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? Mary's getting worse all the time. We don't want to forget anything. Thanks. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I'll write down all the information I get and keep it in my file. Something in it might just save our lives at some point. New info was added to the spirit file, rumors of Hanahiko, other. Spirit file, important info on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from your bag. Consult it if you need help. How do I open my bag? Saving and loading, save at the mansion or haunts. Return to the tile screen from the bag to load. Then choose continue. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Well, that's interesting. Power 10, intelligence 10, spirit power 9, dexterity 11. Wow, I guess I'm like RPG shit in here. Tool, letter opener. A pure silver letter opener taken from the mansion's hall. A beautiful woman's face is engraved on the handle. The blade is sharp, but it can handle soft items. Command, stab with knife, range short. Hanahiko. Okay, it's basically the same we already we already learned. Mark bearer. Moe Watanabe, female, high school student. A high school girl who loves the occult. She got the mark at H Elementary and came to Kujo Mansion seeking help from Saya Kujo, a medium. She's quirky, but always energetic and cheerful. She marches to the beat of her own drum. Tsukasa Yoshida. Elementary school student, a young boy from a prestigious private school. His wealthy upbringing makes him polite and courteous, but he can be insufferable at times. When he's in danger, his true egotistical, self-centered nature peeks through. 
Interesting. Okay, I can select a partner here. Please head to H Elementary and investigate Hanahiko. Choose whether to bring Lady Moe or Lord Sakasa with you. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Then up there, X. Save. Hmm. Cheeky prodigy or occult lover? This guy's... This kid seems like a spoiled little shithead, but... Hmm. Start with her. Tessia <laughs> All right. I guess we go? First, we have to go to H Elementary. Mary says we're free to use the car in the garage. So we take the two bikes. The garage is attached from the mansion. The vintage model van and bicycles only accent the elegant interior. Thank God for careless people. The car key was left on the table. Time to go. Uh, hey. According to Mary, you lost a bunch of your memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? Shut up. She looks at me suspiciously. Don't worry. It'll be fine. I think. It'll all come back when I take the wheel. Part of that is to convince myself. But aren't you missing your license? If a cop finds us, we'll have to more to worry about than Han Hanahiko. She's right about that. But our lives are on the line. So we don't have much of a choice. Once the mark's gone, I'll remember. Then I'll just have them reissue it. Assuming I ever got one. Ugh, now I'm even more worried. Just drive safe, okay? Aha, uh -huh, alright then. Alright, to H Elementary then. I can see my face in the mirror there. He's hiding my, my potential stubble that I... Did I pick it or not? Human bodies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive or not. But the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reacted quicker than I expected, and it's now easier to guide this monster down the road. But now... Thoughts of what I can no longer do start to filter into my head. Hey, mister? Moe pipes up hesitantly. I probably let the silence go on too long. She doesn't seem as cheerful as she was a little while ago. What's it like to lose your memories? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> That's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Like, do they all go at once? Or a few pieces at a time? What if you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it works like that, but... I have no idea if it's getting worse or better. I don't know what I was like to begin with, so there's nothing to compare to. In that sense, rather than the memories vanishing. It's like everything's been painted white. That's what it feels like. Oh. You sure are mature, mister. You take everything so calmly. The conversation dwindles leaving only the sound of the tires on the road. Then the thoughts start popping into my head again, one after another. I know we have to check out that mirror. But what else should we investigate? What do you think? Moe glances over at me. No idea. Can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know what we're doing? Oh, please! I'm really counting on you! Think whatever you want. I'm talking to a child. Are you sure restraint would be a good example? That's definitely how I really feel. I stared out at the steering wheel. The doll in the mansion, Mark Bears. The Mark, Spirits. Ugh. And the mysterious deaths. I feel like I'm going to be buried under the crushing thoughts that keep popping into my head. What awaits me down this dark road? I feel a flutter from the mark on my wrist, like it's trying to warn me. My brain might not be able to understand, but my body can sense it. That death is closing in. If that's happening, oh, I think it's a typo there. Actually, I think it's I think I think it meant what if what's happening isn't the problem anymore. It's more, 
How long do I have left? How much longer is it? Ah! I almost yell, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. I think we're almost there. Really? It's closer than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. At any time, it, it could. It's a lot closer than you think. Death could come get us. Death awaits you. Somebody's getting fu- uh, 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 Looming ominously in the moonlight, the school definitely looks abandoned. For quite a number of years, in fact, the walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. A thick chain is in front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Chotto, chotto. Hey, you there, not another step! Oh god. Oh, hello there! The enthusiastic voice comes from a man in a guard uniform. He must be patrolling the area. So we got caught. This property belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside. Didn't you know? Ugh, are you up to something? Bunch of people have been coming here on dares since it's haunted. You aren't one of them, are you? No, we're not. That's... Yes, exactly it. It's haunted? Well, that's what the rumors are saying anyway. It's got pain. Moe nods in agreement. It is pretty famous after all. The guard sighs. Anyway, the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble on my first shift here. Eat Please it. leave. Okay? Muttering to himself, the guard makes his way into the school. As we watch him leave, Moe leans over and whispers. Damn, there wasn't a guard when I snuck in here before. We better not get caught. I have to kill him. Moving around to haunt. Uh, ooh, up, okay, really? Up, down, left, right to move. The map shows which way you're facing and where you can go. Oh, down, oh, wow, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Record? Oh, okay. Might want to keep multiple save files here. Examine. Uh, all right. So I guess we're just going to go forward. Head to the entrance. Did I just sneak around him, I guess? Pushing open the door as I head inside. Whoa, it's so dark. Can't see anything like this. The moonlight doesn't reach inside. We'll just have to use the flashlight. But we use the flashlight, the guard will find us. Can't do anything about it, I guess. Anyway, that mirror is... Hmm. Pretty sure it's to the right on the staircase. Investigating a haunt. Move uh, the left stick to search the current area. Shine the flashlight on areas of interest and press A. B ends the search. Uh, using this will end the search and move you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh this is... Uh-oh, this is some freaky shit, boy. The battered shoe rack is covered in dirt. A flyer containing warnings and a list of contacts. Do not leave handprints on the mirror in the eastern staircase, thank you. Independent research presentation, first floor, multi-purpose classroom, come check it out. Wow, that presentation takes me back. Anyway, the mirror in the eastern staircase is the one I saw. Guess we'll go there first. Yes, to the right. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm looking at the flyer and I, I can choose so I can look at it. Tool feel. I turn over the torn flyer. But I don't find anything in, in particular. Nothing's there, huh? Looks like it. Letter opener? I take out the letter opener. I've taken it out, but I can't think of a way to use it. Oh, okay. All right. I'm like, how in depth is this going? I decided to stab the flyer. Die! A half-torn poster. It says, lost and found in large letters. Lost times are kept in storage in the staff room. Please check there if you're missing something. Uh, okay. I feel. I touch the paper. It disintegrates the second my finger reaches it. It scatters through the air. Interesting. There are platforms of broken wood slates in front of the shoe rack. They creak when we step on them. 
The ceiling is filthy and the fluorescent lights are broken. So I can go to the left as well. Do I just want to go straight there or should I look around? Let's just go where she wants. She's saying we should. Oh, that sucks, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> huh? As we enter the hallway, a small shadow flits across our feet. I turn on the flashlight to find. Oh, <laughs> it's a bunny. It's a demon bunny. Oh, bunny, it's so cute. It's got red eyes, though. Was it the school pet? It makes a weird, is that sound a bunny makes? The black rabbit squeaks and runs away. It brushes towards the eastern end of the school. Oh, I ran away. Is it telling us to follow? Ha <laughs> yeah, right. The UFO's added, Black Rabbit. Uh, okay. A mysterious Black Rabbit appeared in front of us out of nowhere. It's funny, we've encountered so many strange things already that an odd bunny doesn't face me at all. Those paralyzing dread might be a bit concerning. Anyway, first we have to find that mirror. Interesting, so it's like, these are like things that are all within this Hanahiko thing. So I, I kind of have to click on it and then like scroll through it. Granted, grant, it jumped right to the one I wanted, so that's good. Uh, so we're going, I guess, straight? Yeah, go to the staircase over here. I probably... Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> the fire door is rusted shut and won't move. Climb the stairs. Okay. This is it. It's the mirror I saw last time. I'm sure of it. Huh? Just then, a dull pain runs through my wrist. Like something is biting into my skin. Distract myself from the pain, I keep talking with Moe. It certainly looks normal. Y yeah. Well, what should we do? It's a dirty mirror. All stains make it hard to see a reflection. Look. I silently face the mirror, bring my face up to it to peer into its cloudy surface. As I expected, I can't make anything out. All I see is my own shadow reflected as a vague, shadowy lump. My shadow sways the mirror. At least that's what I thought at first. I figured the shadow moved because I had. The next the t time the shadow moves, cold shiver runs down my spine. That's not my shadow. Something is in the mirror. Demon child! Moe yelps and steps back. Well, that confirms I'm not hallucinating. There really is something in there. Every muscle in my body locks. I try to look away, but I can't even close my eyes. The figure's mouth twists. I don't want to look, but I can't even close my eyes. It opens its mouth. A non-voice pierces my ears. Time to live or die! Okay, I gotta say no. Hey, am I pretty? No. You're not pretty, you're a demon child! I can't tell! No! Safe! No, you're a piece of shit, now get the fight out of here! Only I had that red stuff. I don't need some of that purple shit, baby. I can't see well. Are you a grown up? No. I'm the tallest in my class. Oh. I'm only in my 20s. That's an adult die. Big people aren't allowed in school. It's only the mirror cracks. It's cracked. Now I can't see. No more big people here. Goddamn demon child. The figure disappears. I lived! A scream echoes from the other side of the school. Moe sinks to the floor. They gasp in panic disbelief for a while. I feel much the same. What was that? 
That was probably Hanahiko. Couldn't say it. The word sticks in my throat. My mouth is completely dry. I, I can't believe this. I thought I wanted to see a ghost, but to see one that clearly. Yeah, you like the occult now, you little crazy bitch? Moe seems to shake the encounter off and return to normal. Hanahiko's words swirl around in my head. Our situation is done a complete reverse from where we were just moments ago. Can't believe I was complaining about not knowing what to investigate. Uh, oh, anyway. That scream. Was that. The car we met outside? Uh oh, Spadulios. I doubt there's anyone else here. He might have seen something wherever he is, too. Sound like he came from far away, a ways down the hallway. I'll be on the other side of the school. Yeah, let's go look for him. But if he screamed like that... Something might have happened to him. Right as I respond, I hear someone whisper in my ear. Uh-oh. Purify with red. I look in the direction of the voice, but all I see is darkness. Mister? N no, it's nothing. Let's go. New info was added to the spear file, Hanahiko the boy in the mirror. Okay. Like the rumor said, a ghostly boy appeared. We answered some of his questions and the mirror broke and he vanished. No more big people here, he said, like he was chasing something. Then we heard a horrible scream. It came from the opposite end of the school. It sounded familiar. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking probably back down the stairs. Door's locked. Oh, uh, wait. Letter opener! What if I could wrench it open by sticking the letter opener in the hole? Give it a try, but it won't even fit inside. Wow, so cool! Hey! The key hole isn't rusted over. If I had a key, I could open it. The broken window is letting in a piercingly cold wind. Okay, I think, uh... Good. Shut up, bird! A bird cry breaks the silence. I guess there's a crow or something outside. <laughs> oh, fuck that, dude! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> I shouldn't have looked. I should have known. What the hell was that even supposed to be? Why am I not reacting? My character should be shitting my pants right now. It's interesting because it, you know what, what's actually kind of cool about this is the fact that I'm um, it, it's it's putting me like I'm not just like going from room to room and I'm standing in the same spot. Like when I'm coming through the hall now, I'm actually at a different angle, right? I'm not like standing over here now, uh, which actually adds quite a bit to the Im immersion. See, I think I see a light down there. It maybe. Uh, it's been locked too. So maybe I, I guess all these rooms have been locked. Wrench it in there. Come on, come on, do it. Damn it! Never mind. So I got. I couldn't go down there anyway. Piece of wood. The rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor floor cold and damp. Uh. Entered room on the left. Okay, I could go in here. The dust is so thick on the ceiling that just walking around causes a shower of particles. There are nonsensical scribbles on the blackboard. It's an abandoned desk. The desk like you find in any school. Surprising it doesn't look very weathered. Guess that goes to show how durable school desks are. I stick my hand inside and feel around. Plastic bottle. There's something in the bottle. Oh, it might come in handy. <laughs> I mean, if I get thirsty. A dirty, empty plastic bottle. It's pretty decent sh and in pretty decent shape, so if the cap is firmly closed, it should be able to hold liquid. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Uh... Hole in the wall? 
There's a hole in the wall. I can see something stuck deep inside. Ugh. I stick my arm in, but the hole gets narr narrower the further I go in. Can't reach what's inside. Nothing killed me. Maybe the letter opener. And scrape out the, the item that was stuck inside. Hey, it worked! Holy shit! A worn out talisman. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel warmth flow through me. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Worn out talisman crumbles away and silently in my hand. Healing. Find a worn out talisman to store your soul power. The more soul power you have, the easier it is will be to survive a deadly choice. Cool. Oh, yeah, I'm up to 1500 now. That's a big soul power, big dick energy right there, baby. Uh, okay. Guess we're going backward. Can I walk back through the door? Hold on, I'm gonna go back this way again. I think there might have been a... So this is locked. I think actually might have been a door over here I did not even try. Yeah, here we go. And pan a desk. Full desk is slightly rusty. Show the desk around and stick my hand inside. Holy hard hat. I doubt that's very useful. I don't know. You, you don't never know. A yellow hard hat for a child. It's got holes and is missing its padding, so it's likely not very effective. It can be forced on an adult head with effort. Wear hard hat. Range long. Okay. Seem to be pretty good. I hear a noise like something slamming against the door. It, is someone inside? I shine the flashlight at the door. Ah! Ah! Out of nowhere, the door bar bursts open. Something comes flying out. Ah! Bowie shrieks and falls down. I recognize those clothes. Some kind of plant covers half of his face. Ah, oh, the sound! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Barbara's face we can see is twisted in anguish as he screams. No doubt about it, it's that guard. The hell happened? <laughs> that, I hate my face! Yes! It's going on! <laughs> Moe sits on the floor, stunned into just syllables. <laughs> Guard suddenly rushes towards the entrance. Well, they didn't try to kill us, at least. And then silence falls once more. <laughs> the only sound left is that of our shaky breathing. Once we catch our breaths, I take Moe's hand and help them up. Our nerves have calmed some, but that definitely left an unsettling impression. Something terrible looks here. I can't just sit around. I felt like I was paralyzed. I I'm okay now. But Mr. That guy. Mommy stares at the door. I wonder if Hanahiko did that. And I don't know if you noticed, but I got the feeling someone was standing behind him. Yes, yeah, all that shit. There's really no good way to respond to that. And the silence serve as my answer. What else could I do? No point in coming here if we're just going to stand here at shaking. If we don't uncover the secret before it comes for us. Why don't we check out the staff room? I tactfully avoid answering Moe's question. The guard had run out of here. Something might be inside. Some secret about Hanahiko. Y yeah, you're right. Let's just be careful, okay? I covered my wrist with my palm, making sure Moe didn't, doesn't notice. Moment I put my hand on the knob. The mark burned my skin, pulsing with my beating heart. Ow! Do if it was added? Plantified guard. Come here, come here. Uh, uh. Broken windows letting in a piercing cold wind. A wind blows. Plantified guard. The guard we met at the school gate was the only one who screamed. He burst out of the staff room covered in growing plants of all things. The pain was driving him mad. Does Spirit do this? Must have been Hanahiko, which means inside the staff room is... But we have to keep going. All right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. Ooh, this gets freaky. <laughs> it's cool, though. It's, it's interesting. I'm liking the... Uh, 
like examination and like movement mechanics and stuff they have us doing here. It's definitely uh, immersive. It's giving me it's giving me huge corpse party vibes. And honestly, I guess even like kind of like just the perspective and everything, kind of similar to Book of Shadows, because that game was I think also more like visual novel first person. Corpse Party OG is just, you know, was actually like over top, like, you know, you see your character like walking around. But yeah, this one's, uh, this is pretty, it's pretty freaky. And the idea that I'm like, I can flash my flashlight, I might see some shit. Ah, uh, it's good. It, it's pretty, it's pretty neat so far. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you all are, uh, enjoying this first episode and are excited for the series. Uh, if you are, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does, uh, help me out a lot. And, uh, subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny, the vids are always funny, and sometimes they get fucking scary, right? Make us pee our pants. Beware, beware! But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!